space When we could rest, been waiting for the right day Like the right day ever comes, now it's Friday And nothing's changed Mistakes that everyone is making but I can't change I'm stuck in reverse Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Today's video is going to be a craft fair prep vlog. This weekend I do have one craft fair and it is the We Sell event and it's in downtown Orlando. My mom is actually coming to visit us this week on Thursday. So all of my prep I'm going to try to do between now, Monday, and Thursday when she gets here so that I kind of just have Thursday afternoon and Friday to hang out with her. And then Saturday is our... Um, is the actual event and because my mom is here Ethan is going to be able to come and help me uh, set up and get ready for that event but I'm really excited I think it's going to go good it's a pretty long event and the last like she sells we sell event that I did last year was pretty successful pretty good so I'm very interested to see if that will happen again but I thought I would go over my to-do list for this week so I don't have a ton of time to get ready but I'm kind of like switching things up in terms of what I'm going to bring and how I'm going to set up at the event. So yeah, so things are going to be a little bit different, but this week I need to embroider a custom Mimi sweatshirt. So I sold one at the, um, at the market last weekend or like I did like a pre-sale kind of like someone came and they saw it and they wanted to order it on the website. So that was like an aftermarket sale. So I need to do that today. That's going to be the first thing I knock out is embroider the Mimi sweatshirt and it's going to be applique with, it's going to be like the exact one that I bring as a custom example with this fabric and the little diamond applique. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to unbox a lot of things that I got. Um, so I'm going to do a fun little unboxing after I get done with the sweatshirt because I want to get that done and then I'm going to do the fun unboxing. And then related the, to the unboxing, I want to photograph the keychains that I have been making. So I need to get the keychains out and photograph them. Then I need to list them on my website because I've gotten a lot of comments on here about that. And then I want to sew some more of the little makeup bags. And I also, I also am going to do a couple of like embroidery in the hoop projects I think because I've gotten a lot of comments about trying that too so I'm gonna work on some of those I've got to figure out what patterns I want to get so I've been kind of researching a little bit about in the hoop stuff so I'm a little bit nervous about that but I think that'll be a very interesting way to make some products so I'm gonna try to figure that out and then the last thing I want to figure out how to keep my keychains on their display when it's windy outside because I was definitely having a little bit of an issue with that this weekend whenever like the wind would like blow a big gust they would like fly off so i gotta figure out what to put on the end to make it not happen and then i also i don't think i wrote this down i want to order some little labels to put not labels little cards to put on the end of my keychains that have some more information that i can also put the prices on there because i think that might be a little bit easier for people to identify like which size is which and how much each of them cost so i want to work on that too and i think there's something else that i was going to mention but I can't think of it right now. So the first thing that I'm going to attack today is the Mimi applique sweatshirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and hoop that and get that on my machine. My angle for hooping this is like not super ideal, but without fail, if we do not unpack the car the day of the market, I will forget the tripods in there. And Ethan took that car to work today because the car that I have is the one that has the car seats in it right now. So I don't have my tripod. So you are on like my normal little tripod, like the tiny one on the shelf. So I apologize for the angle not being super great, but you know, you do what you gotta do. But I went ahead and cut my no-show mesh. And I've been kind of slacking on the embroidery lately. Mostly because I haven't really had any designs that I want to make. And I haven't really had a ton of custom orders lately. Also, I did all of those mama sweatshirts. And I keep forgetting to put them like in like the bags or put them in a bin to take them with me. But I just ordered... A bunch of garment bags from Amazon to get here because I'm trying to like lessen the bin load in my car so 
hopefully those will get here tomorrow i also have a ton of stuff being delivered to me today from amazon for like more bag making stuff and when that gets here i'll unbox it too that's not related to the other things that i'm unboxing but that is something that i am going to get that i'll show you now that I've got this hooped, I'm just going to put this on my machine and it's going to do the little like tracing stitch and then I will put on my applique fabric and cut it out. If you've seen me do this design before, then you know that it's kind of annoying because this itself is an editable font. So I just put all these letters together. So these are for each individual letter. So that's why there are so many steps but I kind of skip around because I like to use the same color thread for everything. So I will start with five, which is the white, which is the one I want to use anyway. So I'll do all of these fives first, and then I'll change this three to five, and then I'll do all those, and then I'll change that one to five and do all of those. So there's kind of a lot of jumping around, but I think that's the best way instead of doing each individual one, because I have like my one piece of fabric that I lay out. That's definitely the easiest thing to do. So I've got that, and then I also need to hit stop after that. So I will lock it and then get it started. Let's do the first M. my final product and I think it looks really really good I hit it with a little bit of water to get out that marking pin and I think I'll probably hit it with the iron one more time too but I think that that turned out really good and this order is for actually another vendor so I'm going to email her and figure out when we're going to meet up so I can give it to her my kids decided to wake up from nap early but I did not want to wait another second before I open these for you guys so they're watching spirited away right now but I so graciously was sent a couple of items that I picked out from Temu, which I'm sure we all thought it was Temu, but after the Super Bowl commercial, I'm sure everyone was shook to see that it is not actually Temu, it's Temu, but they so graciously wanted to collaborate with me, so they sent me a couple of items that I picked out on the website for both sewing and YouTube related stuff. So I wanted to open these and show you everything I got and I'll link everything that I got down below. So I just want to say thank you again for uh, Temu for sending me these things. And there are a couple of things, like I said, for YouTube and sewing and also for the market displays that I'm going to start working on for the bags. So without further ado, I want to open it and show you what I got. I got a lot of stuff, so we're going to have to go through it um pretty rigorously to get through all of it so let's just go ahead and jump into opening these bags here is the first bag that i'm going to open and i got a lot of stuff so i'm very interested to see how they were able to pack it into two just two bags but i think it took i ordered these around two weeks ago and they came in last thursday so it didn't take super long for them to get here so i'm really appreciative of that but I didn't want to open them until the start of a new vlog. So I got this thing, which is like an extendable tripod thing. So you put this on your tripod and it makes it so you can do overhead shots. So when I'm cutting like fabric and doing sewing stuff, you can see overhead instead of kind of the sideways angle. And I thought that would be a lot like more cleaner looking and better. Also Amazon Prime just got here. So I'll also have to collect those packages and show you those. But yeah, so this is a little filming thing so I can do overhead shots better. So that is for YouTube. And then, so I think there's just these two things in here. And the next thing is this little photo box. So instead of having to pull out my big photo booth, 
I can use this to take pictures of the keychains in the bags. I'm not sure. I think it does. Yeah, it has a ring light that shines down. I think you can take pictures through that opening up there. So I'm very excited about that. So just these two things were in that bag. I think it is a little bit interesting that there's a tape situation on that. So I don't know if that was from the bag or I'm not quite sure. But I will put all of the item names and the list price on the screen probably. And I'll also link everything down below so you can find the exact listing. So let me get this second big bag. So I guess this is where the bulk of the stuff is. And then I got this dress right here for market. So I'll have to try this on. Let me see what this looks like. It's cute. I'm like so into like ruffly stuff. It's not funny, but it's looking like that. And it's like a tie like this. Cute. I'll have to try that on. Maybe I'll like insert a click a clip of me wearing it. And then I definitely got a lot of little stuff. So I got a sewing square. Cause I, right now I use that big long ruler and sometimes I need to get smaller measurements so I got one of those I got a bobbin case so it's like empty bobbins plus storage so that I can preload a lot of bobbins in different colors and that I have them handy because right now I really can only find like two bobbins so I've had to stop and refill them quite a few times so that will make it so that I don't have to do that as often and then I got like another little guy let me see here i got another little measuring square and then i got that is so funny i thought that these were bigger i got another like cutting mat but i wanted a slightly smaller cutting mat but this is like way smaller than i thought it was gonna be that's so funny this is a or it's eight by five. That's so funny. That's actually way smaller than I thought it was going to be. That's pretty funny. And then I got this little measuring gauge that I thought was, I guess it is metal. It kind of seemed not metal, but it's like a little measuring gauge for helping with seam allowances. So there's that thing. And then I got this little pair of scissors. Let me open this. I got this little pair of embroidery scissors that are a little bit fancy. Not embroidery, but sewing scissors so I can go snip snip on all of the loose threads that I might have. And then I think that this last thing is going to be the major display thing that I have for my market. So I think these are all the same, this last like couple couple things right here it's definitely heavily taped and packaged so yeah let me just confirm that these are all the same thing I think they should be and then I also got these little corner pusher outer things or at least that's what I'm gonna use them for to push out my corners so let me just make sure these are all the same thing. Yeah, these are all the same thing. So I will just open one and show you what it is. This is gonna be some of the new displays that I'm going to have for the bags. And I hope it works out all right because I wanted to do a display that would not only kind of like, you know, showcase the bags, but also protect them because like a lot of markets, a lot of things can get really dusty and like colony and stuff like that. So the idea of this display is that you can see things and you can check them out, but they won't be touched by the elements as much. So let's see here. I'm getting a bunch of tape on myself. Okay. So it's like this little acrylic container that I think people probably would use for like showing their shoes or with toiletries and stuff like that. So it's like a little acrylic shelf thing. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, let's see how to 
put this together. I might just put this together and then show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I got the display thing put together and I have three of these, but the idea is that this will sit on top of the table and then let me grab, let me grab like two of these. So the idea is that I can open this and stick a couple of things inside there and then you can see it on my table. Maybe even let me like turn this like sideways a little bit. Get in front of it. So the idea is you can walk past it on the table and you can see it. And then if I have like smaller items I can put in here, that will also do that because right now that takes up pretty much the entire space in there. But I don't think that that's half bad. Let's see here. I put like one of these and one of these in there. Like look how stinking cute. You like walk by and be like, oh, look. And then they are protected from the elements by being in this little acrylic case. But yeah, I love that. I think that that is such a good idea. Okay, so that is that. And let me show you what I got from Amazon. The first thing that I got is some of the By Annie's Soft and Stable. This is kind of a hard item to come by, not on Amazon. You have to either buy like a lot or kind of like from a random place. But on Amazon, I got it a little bit pricier on Amazon, but my local sewing studio they I called and they weren't going to have it for a little while or like they weren't sure exactly when they were going to get it back in stock but I got it from Amazon so I had to splurge a little bit on that and then I got some little flippies some multicolored buckles for something that I'm going to be working on this week I was hoping to kind of possibly get started on doing the bag making for those buckles today because I got the soft and stable, but I don't think time is going to be on my side for that unless I want to work in the night. And I don't particularly think that I want to, maybe I will, maybe tonight Ethan goes to the climbing gym cause he's been going to like the bouldering gym here in Orlando, um, blue swan boulders. He's been going there. So maybe when he goes there, I will do all of my fabric cutting. So maybe, maybe I'll be able to work on that tomorrow, but I'll do I'll do my fabric cutting tonight, maybe. And then I got a bunch of, oh, let me do the small one first. Bunch of slidey buckles to go with this. And then I got a whole bunch of different um, rolls of zippers. So like it came with a bunch of different colors and also came with a bunch of different pools they're right there they're on that side and these are slightly wider it's a size five zipper which is like slightly wider this way than the ones i have been using the ones i've been using are three or something like that so i got a lot of stuff in the mail today so i'm gonna definitely need to do a little bit of feng shui in here to make the room a little bit better but i bought a lot of these because i'm going to be making another product not in the hoop actually sewing but i wanted a bunch of different colorful hardware and uh zippers and everything like that but i think now it is time for me to skedaddle and hang out with my kids for the rest of the day and also another thing i did order a bunch of new fabric that i wanted to make bags with and do other stuff with from um, this fabric store in Kentucky because my fabric store didn't have these prints. And I got I got them from this like fabric store in Kentucky called like Paducah, Paducah Fabrics or something like that. And they've not like shipped them out yet, which I guess is fine, but it does seem like a little bit weird because I ordered them last week and the orders confirmed that they haven't shipped them out. And I think that's a little bit odd but yeah so i'm gonna peace out for the rest of the day and i'll show you when i use the new stuff that i got from uh, tamu i will show you what i do with that besides the display thing that will be this weekend happy wednesday so as you can tell i have my overhead camera set up and today i'm going to be doing a test of another pattern and so i've already collected some of my notions i've got my zipper that i've cut the little belt like buckle slider thing and then the actual buckle and then i've also got different zippers to choose from 
And then I also have my fabric that I'm going to be using and I also have my soft and stable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to cutting all of my fabric. And once I have all that cut, I'm gonna go ahead and do my quilting. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. to do this but I referenced the uh, directions like a bunch just to like make sure that I wasn't doing anything wrong so the next time I do it it'll probably be way faster but here is the little bag that I made it's like a little fanny pack so let me put it on so I think that like she has it kind of like made so you wear it sort of like oh, let me fix this like you wear it kind of like a fanny pack, like this, bam. Or you can wear it like, like this. So I think that is so stinking cute. And I have like a little strappy thing that you can use to like make it looser or tighter. So you can make it a little bit looser. So let me make it that crossbody bag one more time okay okay that's so cute and once it has stuff in it obviously it'll be a little bit more kind of like full looking i feel like because it's empty 
it's a little squishy, but look how stinking cute. I will definitely say the hardest part of that is definitely like, I guess the longest part is getting all of your fabric cut because that took forever. And putting the little zipper on the like zipper tape was like actually like so annoying to me and was actually really, really tricky. But yeah, there's the little front, there's the back, there's the sides, and then there's the strap. So yeah, so I think now that I've done it once, it'll be easier to do, but I definitely think what I want to do moving forward is like cut all of my fabric and all of my soft and stable ahead of time and then do like all my quilting kind of just do everything in steps because i feel like that will help me it helps me to kind of like focus on doing like one task at a time instead of just like going for the full thing at once if that makes sense um so yeah so i am very very pleased with how that turned out it took me a long time it's actually like 6 30 right now um so i kind of worked on it while the boys were awake and then when ethan came home but i am pleasantly pleased with how that turned out i love that okay so i'm going to probably check out for a little bit i might come back later tonight and cut some more fabric for this and for some more of the little toiletry bags but i am so stoked about how that looks Happy Wednesday. So last night I cut a ton of fabric and this is actually not even all of it, but I cut a ton of fabric and I think today during nap time, I'm really going to focus on trying to quilt as much of it as possible. So I'm going to have to do that. I think that's probably what's going to take me the longest. Cutting the fabric and quilting is definitely the hardest part for me or like the most time intensive, but I cut all the stuff and I kind of like I kind of have little random bits and pieces of different types of bags because I wanted to get as much use out of the fabric with as little waste as possible. So I kind of cut random pieces out of different fabric and put it aside for like, this is gonna be the fanny pack. This is gonna be the small bag. This is gonna be a bigger bag. So I think I'm just gonna quilt it all and kind of see what I have. But that is what I'm going to work on. First thing I'm gonna do is obviously iron everything and then put the different stabilizers on stuff before I start to uh, quilt it. But also another thing that I did, I did buy some of the Parker on the porch in the hoop bags. So I don't know if I'm going to work on that this week or if that's gonna be a next week project, but I did cut out some fabric for that. So I'll also get that situated and ready. I might test one today if I have time. I probably won't, but I'm trying to get as much done today as I can because my mom comes tomorrow. So I will have nap time tomorrow, but I also kind of want to use it to get my house in order. So I'm going to try to just knock out as much as I can because I would like to have a couple bags ready for Saturday because I'm already like kind of like planning on changing how I'm setting up. So I'm definitely going to try to get some done so that I have some to sell. I think I'm definitely going to be able to sell that one bum bag that I made yesterday because I think that that's perfect and ready to go. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. You must think that I'm a restless case because I ran away, because I ran away. If you listen to the words I say, you know that I'm okay. You know it's just a to quilt these three pieces of the um, 
fanny pack bag because I would say that this sewing machine is like not good or like I don't know if I'm just like bad at using it or my machine's bad but I would say about seven out of ten times I start to use this it starts to go crunch 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 and like uh, bird's nest on the other side and then I have to like re-thread it and yeah so it's kind of like annoying and it is not just like I always try to like start sewing in the fabric like I try to not start sewing like before I'm actually like on it so I don't think it's that so kind of annoying but that is all I got done today I think what I'm probably gonna do tonight is do a practice one of the um, in the hoop bags and see how that works out to see if that goes good because yeah the quilting of that was really really annoying and it literally took me super duper long to do just a couple of pieces so I kind of want to pivot and try something different tonight just because I'm a little bit annoyed with that. So yeah, that is going to be what I get done today during nap time. So I will check in tonight after the boys are asleep. Happy Thursday. So last night and this morning I finished two of the toiletry slash makeup bags. They turned out so stinking good. I've got the book one and then I also have the Alice in Wonderland one. And I think those turned out so good. So I used the uh, the lightweight interfacing and the fusible fleece together, as you saw in the video, and it definitely gave it a lot more stability. So I think that that is so perfect. And I wanted to make more of these, but I'm actually out of fusible fleece. So I'll have to go to the store tonight and get that. My mom is gonna be here tonight. So I don't know if she'll come with me when the boys are asleep and Ethan's taking care of them or I'll go by myself. I don't know, but I do need to go to the store and get some more. So I am very, very pleased with how that turned out. But today during nap, I think I'm going to test out some of those in the hoop bags from Parker on the porch that I got. And I already did the first placement stitch that's so on my machine right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on that and see if I can make at least one today during nap time. Um, Cause I kinda wanna like get the house a little bit more in order for my mom to be here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the steps of making this bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and head on over to the machine and put the batting and the first piece of fabric down. Here is my fabric and my batting here in my hoop. I chose to use the Mighty Hoop today. I think for the bigger one, I'm gonna have to use like my regular normal hoop, but for this one, I can use the Mighty Hoop, but it does go a little bit close to the edge, but it's not gonna hit it or anything like that. So I'm just gonna kinda like hold it down while it's stitching because I need to have at least, like I said, 1.5 inches of excess fabric. So I'm just gonna like hold that down or like tape it or maybe i'll like put that little basting adhesive that's actually what i might do i'm gonna go ahead and spray the batting and put it down on this and then i'll go ahead and do my tack down and then the quilting step here is the back of the bag all done i just need to give it a good press and then i need to just hoop some of this stabilizer and then put it on the machine and run my little stitches to show where i put my zipper and my fabric here is what the front of the bag is looking like so far so i just got done quilting that and i just have a couple more steps and then i'll put the bag together i'm very intrigued to see how it's gonna look i'm really excited I skipped showing a couple steps obviously but here is the finished bag so all I need to do is unhoop it but let me take this tape off real quick get that out of here but let's check it out bam so that is what it is looking like so far so I just need to do some cleanup work to it so I'm going to start on the back here and I think I'm just going to do like a rough cut real quick. I did all of my cutting. I didn't show you all the cutting because it was a little bit wild, but now I just have to turn my bag inside out. So I also might do this off camera because it might take me a second. Okay. Now that I have got my bottom hole sealed, I'm just going to go ahead and flip this inside out or I guess right side out. And then this will be the finished bag, which I'm really excited to check out if I can pop it out. It's very sturdy because of the batting, I'm pretty sure. Let me get my little corner thingy. I don't even like need the corner thingy. Just use my thumb. It's a little tricky. Oh, 
almost there. Just need to poke this out. See, I think it might just be because it's a little bit bulky in there. Probably should have cut more around the corner. But, once I get it zipped up, Let me, let me get a little press. So there is my finished bag. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this, but still pretty cute. So this is what I was gonna consider the medium size. And this is kind of reaching the limit of how big I can make it on the machine, but that's pretty cute. I'm really into that, I'm digging that. Nap time is coming to a close. I know I didn't really show like too much of making this, but I was trying to kind of like bust it out and see if I could make it before the end of nap. So I'm really, really happy about that. So that's what I did. And I also went ahead and quilted the fabric for the bigger size. So for this one, I couldn't use the Mighty Hoop. I had to use the biggest hoop that came with my machine. And it was cutting it a little bit close, but I think the back, the back is bigger than the front because as you can see, the back is bigger than the front and you need to be able to like lay it on top of it to like secure it. So I think with the front side when I quilted, I think I can use my Mighty Hoop for that. But yeah, so I went ahead and got that quilted. I feel like it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's like really, really cute. So yeah, so that is what I've got done today. And me and my mom tonight might go to Joanne's like I was saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my boys and we're gonna go pick my mom up from the airport. Happy Friday. So while my mom was playing with the kids this morning, I actually did two new projects. I did the small like book case from Parker on the porch. So that is what this guy is looking like. He is pretty small. I'm going to work on the medium and the large probably next week and test those out. But I did that one on the machine. And then I also put this little buckle. I didn't film it just because I was trying to get it done and get it tested and then the other thing i did was this little pouch and i did not do this on the embroidery machine but i kind of i kind of did a little bit um i'm calling this a parker on the porch hack so what i did was i used the um quilted bag thing the quilted bag file like this to make this fabric quilted but then i just sewed it normally on the sewing machine because i think i can get it a little bit bigger than what i can when i use the hoop because when you use the embroidery file on the embroidery machine the way it does it and tacks down the zipper it's like in front up top and so the back is bigger than the front but I want it to be a little bit bigger than what the large size has to offer. So this is essentially two backs sewed together. But yeah, I think that turned out really, really cute. I don't know if I'm going to be doing more sewing projects today just because I want to hang out with my mom since she is here, but I'm really, really stoked about that. Um, I went to Joann's last night with my mom and they, I feel like whenever I go to Joann's, the people who are working there are like not stoked to be there. And if you need them to cut fabric, they actually just like don't want to do that. And I went to go get fusible fleece and online it said they had it, but the person was like, oh, it's not on that shelf over there. We don't have it. And like it wasn't on the shelf but online. It said it was. So I ordered it this morning before the store even opened for pickup. So it was just like really, really weird because I went last night about like an hour before close and she said that they didn't have it. And then this morning before they opened, I ordered it and it was there for pickup like as soon as they opened. So like, was it there? And she just like didn't want to get it. I don't really know, but I got some fabrics there yesterday and this is one of the fabrics that I got. The little flamingo, but I'm very pleased with how that turned out. So I actually went and got more feasible fleece this morning. Uh, the batting I got, I got more batting too, is not as fluffy as the batting that I got last time. Um, it's just like a little bit less fluffy and I don't know if that's like affecting kind of the fluffiness of like this and this, but I think I might prefer using like the fusible fleece and things anyway. But yeah, I think I might call it on the vlog here just because like I said, I want to go hang out with my mom and I don't know how much 
how much work I feel like I'm gonna be able to get in today or tonight after the boys go to sleep. Cause once again, I wanna hang out with my mom. But next week, I think I'm gonna go pretty ballistic making some stuff. Um, I have a couple things bag related to bring to the market tomorrow. Not as much as I wanted to bring. So that's kind of a little, uh, a little bit disappointing. But I think at the market next Friday, I'm gonna have a lot of good stuff to bring. So definitely, I think the way to go next week, I think I mentioned this earlier in the vlog, doing things in steps because cutting fabric takes forever. And like quilting stuff on the sewing machine takes forever. So using this little hack is probably going to help a lot in terms of like making bags like this. But I can't really do any quilting hacks for the um, for the makeup bags or the toiletry bags. I just have to do that on the machine. So I think what I'm going to do next week, starting on Monday, is try to cut out all the fabric that I want to cut out. And I bought a ton of fabric at Joann's last night, and I ordered fabric from it's called Hancock's of Paducah. I ordered a bunch of fabric from them, and it was delivered. So next week I will unbox all of that and show you all of the really cool fabrics that I got. And then I'm just going to try to cut everything so that by the end of the week I have enough cut that on like Wednesday, Thursday, I can just like bust out a bunch of bags. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This last like couple days have been like a little bit chaotic. So I think next week will be a little bit more put together because I wanted to do a lot of photography of the keychains and some of these bags. So that's going to have to be a next week project. And next week, I also want to make a bunch of keychains with some of the fabric that I got. Yeah, it's been a little bit hectic to say the least, but I still hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more behind the scenes, small business content and craft your vlogs. And hopefully I see you in the next one. The next one is going to be the We Sell Market vlog. So that is the market that I have tomorrow and Ethan's gonna be able to help me out with that. And it is a Saturday day market. So like, I think it's 12 to six. I think so, downtown Orlando. And Ethan's gonna be able to help me out with that. So I definitely hope it goes good. I think the weather is supposed to be good. And it's like in two locations downtown. And if you've watched like my TPD night market videos, it's in the same place that that is located. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully everyone decides to come out and shop. But yeah, without further ado, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So